Hey guys, this is going to be a quick uh, one, just kind of more or less blind. Uh, this is guessing game. Uh, create a program that will allow the user to play a numbered guessing game. First, declare an integer variable called guesses, the number of guesses a player gets before they lose. Seven is good to start with. Next, generate a random number between one and a thousand and save that integer into a variable called number. Prompt the user asking them to guess. So this is the same thing as a game y'all may have played before called high, low. They pick a number, you tell them high or lower. This one's got just got an added thing that we have a certain number of guesses to try it. Uh, your program should then tell them if they guessed correctly. If they didn't, tell them they were too high or too low. Allow them to guess again repeatedly until they run out of guesses. Video is included there. This is the same one I gave you on the worksheet. Sample code right there. So here's the code to use the random apparatus. And we'll use the same thing. Uh, we, we're not going to scale it to 1,000 to start with. Um, something I told you all about when we build these things is a lot of times we make them smaller to make sure they work. Then we make them larger. Uh, we'll do something similar. Note every time you run the program, a piece of code will generate a new random number. Okay, so it needs to repeat. And then modify the game so that they, they may keep playing. Okay, so we got a few things that they tell us directly to do. Um, first off, we do need to create a random object. RNG equals new random. There you go. So this is just like our scanner. It's just an object. Uh, we will use that to call our random number later. Um, let's see. We need our number of guesses. They give us seven to start with. We can go from there. Um, all right. So let's generate a number. Equals RNG dot next int. Okay, we want it to be one to a thousand, and so we don't start at zero. We'll add one to shift all the things, but because I want to make it so that we can actually figure it out and see if it works, let's start it at a hundred. Um, we'll deal with correcting it at the very end. All right. Um, I'll add some notes here. So, uh, rg dot next int x randomly selects from zero to x minus one. So, next int one hundred is zero to ninety nine. I shift everything up, up by one to do one to a thousand. That's how we do that. All right, we're good there. All right, so while guesses is greater than zero, because that's going to be our main function right there. That's what's keeping the game running. Hey, we still got guesses. Okay. And dot out. Dot print. And enter, and guess the number. Okay, we do that. Uh, let's go user. Go. All right. Um, so once we got there, um, we do need to make a quick little guess. So we want to make sure that they are within range. So we'll do this as a do. Okay, we'll do that. So long as user is greater than zero. Oh, no, we want to repeat it. So if it's less than zero or user is greater than 100 in this case. And this is the only loop, remember, that has a 
semicolon. So that'll keep them trapped there. They have to use something that is in our valid range. Um, and we'll go ahead and put instructions here. Uh, you could have an error message, tell them it's invalid, something like that. That's perfectly fine. I'm just going to be quick here. All right. So if they make it through that, then guesses will lose a value, because that means they've checked it. And now we just do all of our potential checks. So we could go. Well, let's just go ahead and just write our if statements. So if user is greater than number, then we say too high. If user is less than number, then we tell them too low. And then else, which we don't need it, but I'm going to put it in here now just so we know it. If user is the number, and we got a few things we can do. Big thing is we're going to break early and set that up. So this is the guess. There we go. Congratulations. You win. And then we break out of it. Uh, if they're not, after we reach their guesses, we do need to tell them how much they've got guesses remaining. And then we type guesses. There we go. So that'll update and let them know every time. This is the wow, which is the next one right now. Okay. Ah, okay, so I've got scope error since I'm using user outside of this loop. I can't declare it here. So I need to put it up here. And we'll just give it a default value. And I'll take the declaration off here. Oh, that should be visible now. Uh, I forgot scan right there. Good, no more errors at the moment. All right, so this isn't looped yet too much. Let's just see what we can do. Okay. 1 to 100. Uh, we'll go 50. Too low. I've got six guesses left. I could take off the period. It's not doing much for the game purposes. It's not a full sentence anyway. Um, so 50 is too low. Heaven and half again, 75, too low again, uh, 88, 94, okay, so we're in the ballpark, 90, 91, 92, that was 93, okay, so um, code worked for the ball, most part, guesses was accurate, ended up doing it okay, Um, I guess I can put a little spacer line there just in case to keep them separate. Let's see, try it again, make sure it works. Uh, 50, 200, 25, uh, 38. One, we won, and it broke out. Yay. Okay, so we had a win, we had a fail, and we 
had highs and lows. Okay, so everything is confirmed to work right now. So now we need to add the extra layer of loop to let them play again. Okay, so this doesn't have to be a very creative loop by any means. This can just be a very simple infinite loop while true. I can spell true. Okay, add my extra curly bracket. Add my extra closing, and then everything in between gets tabbed out one more time to create a new level. Okay. The reason why I'm including this stuff inside is because this is going to reset my default values. It's going to give them seven guesses to begin with. It's going to generate a new random number, and it's going to reset the user's number as well. Um, no, there's not really any purpose to the negative one. It's just if I know it's a garbage value that's going to immediately be replaced, that's what I was taught and used for years. Um, do while still good. Again, we might add an error message in here, but then we have to have an if test, so we'll just leave it as is. Uh, once it makes an actual guess, we subtract a guess, we compare the values, and we keep going. Okay, so this one is our actual gameplay. So after that, this is where we need to have a, another prompt, system.outbook. And you can do it either way you want. Uh, I'm gonna let them enter a number. So enter a zero to quit. or any other number. We're going to put in a number to play again. Okay. Uh, -da -da -da. Replay equals scan dot next. Right. right. If replay is zero, then I break out of the normal or out of the replay loop because that's just an infinite loop up at the top that's going to keep looping no matter what. Now, I don't have to include a else statement in this one because I gave them one, egg, one option to exit. If they don't take that option, they're going to play again, and it's a quick game anyway, so I'll leave that there. Um, they do not have any way to exit early, which is fine uh, given the restrictions of our code right now. We've got everything to reset. All right, so let's see if we can play two games. All right, zero to 100. Too low. Too low. Too high. Too low, so right here in the middle. Too high, still missed it, okay. Zero to quit or any number to play again. Let's replay first. Yay, it worked. So now I got a new number. This time I'm too low again. This time I'm too high. So here. Ooh, right there in the middle. And I win. Zero to exit. And it ended. Yay. Okay. So that sits everything we've got there. Did we do the put model game user layer outside the prescribed range? Oh, that was the advanced part where we kept them in that range. Yay. Okay. So last changes we make in order to make sure that this is valid for as the game required. We up it to a thousand. We up that to a thousand because now that we've increased the caps, we can do that. And I think seven to guess a number is really impressive. Um, I'm going to give them 10 since we're jumping that up, and we'll go from there. But that's it. That's your entire code. Hope you all enjoyed this. Happy coding.